Hello. How's that? Hi, everyone. Is this better? What a nightmare. <sighs> okay. How we doing? It's perfect. Why well, switched it to another channel? Because you know you can. Oh, it's great now. Good. Uh, I just unplugged it and switched it. But when I did that, I lost the thing. So I had to start it over again. But that was great because I really had to pee. So, you know, maybe it was the universe's way of saying, let Dr. Whimsy go use the restroom real quickly. So now I'm good. And I can be here with you like this with not a care in the world. Because down there, I'm all right. Welcome back, everyone. Yippee. I think it was Spirit's way of saying, for the love of God, let this poor woman use the restroom. Yeah, I was. Uh, I, <laughs> I had four or five clients back to back, and I set up to go live. And then while I was live, I was thinking, wow, I really <laughs> got to use the restroom. So maybe it was Spirit's way of rescuing me. Hi, false teeth. Good to see you. Michael's back. Thank God. All right. Blue Elephant Deb H is here. Nice. Purple Sky. Raymond Porla. Queen B. Super Queen B. Oh, my Lord. Pier Walker's here. Debbie's back. Oh, I, I, I can return back to my, my personal Nirvana. And I want to thank you all for that. Thank you for supporting me. Cindy Dickerson, thank you for being a member my life is complete with Melissa Miller, all of you. Okay, let's have some fun. So uh, those of you who are just joining us, we had a little bit of a glitch. I apologize. We switched from station one to station two. Hopefully we're okay. Um, yeah, so let's talk about it. We're talking about Lindsey Graham, and we did a remote view last night. We did long form, which is what I try to do at night. I need to stop doing it every night. You don't need to do remote view. See, I get addicted and then I get exhausted because I don't get proper sleep because I'm up spying every night. But <laughs> uh, So what happened when I followed Lindsey Graham's energy was that the investigation into his behavior uh, in Georgia uh, could lead to censor in the Senate and request for him to resign early uh, to give up the seat early because it would appear that it's looking like an end to his uh, career in the Senate. It's very unfortunate. We kind of always thought that he would end his Senate career early and it does seem to be moving uh, in that direction. And then I just, uh, to clarify for those of us who are just joining with the group, and we can certainly uh, open the floor to talk about it, the energy is also suggesting that this is kind of what's going on in with us cleaning house in Congress is a continuation of a lot of what we were picking up on when we did remote views on Robert Mueller, because Robert Mueller had talked about the fact this is going to end on the Capitol steps. And I was hoping it wouldn't be quite this violent, uh, but wow, boy, did it ever. And, um, yeah, so what it's saying is that uh, the most likely outcome for uh, Senator Graham, he will be shunned by his fellow GOP and the feds uh, will begin prosecuting members of Congress. This is the second phase of the Mueller report because of crimes that had been discovered during the investigation had been sent off uh, to the FBI. I don't know about that, but he uh, he's kind of a tragic character. You know, he comes in to D.C. You know, it's interesting. I did this remote and I was watching Lawrence O'Donnell and Lawrence O'Donnell saw the same end for Lindsey Graham, that it's a sad ending for Lindsey Graham. He has no wife. He has no children. He has no partner He ha that we know of. He has no children. All he has is the glory of being a senator. And uh, without that, it's all he had. And he it's, he it's going up in smoke, basically. 
he would be replaced by another Republican who theoretically would be able to be reelected. But uh, if if they if they if they censor him and do an investigation, yeah, I think at this point they could get sixty votes. I mean, or however many votes they need, because. Uh, it's it uh, following this energy. It looks like most more than likely Lindsey Graham will resign. It is a sad ending. I agree, Purple Sky. I I I agree. I think that's very unfortunate. Okay, so uh, the second thing that came up had to do with the FBI's internal investigation into Brett Ka Kavanaugh. Um, what does uh, Trump think of Lizzie Graham? I don't think they have anything to do with each other. I, you know, they might occasionally have phone calls, but uh, the truth be told, uh, a lot of people are being told not to talk to each other. The phones are all bugged. <laughs> you know, the, he's a uh, he he's a spy. I mean. Trump's a spy. He was caught with the secret documents in his desk. I mean, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty, um, pretty sad, wouldn't you say? All right. So the next, <laughs> I know it's pretty funny, right? All right. The next thing we're talking about has to do with Brett Kavanaugh. Oh man, now I lost my tissue. I just can't cut a break today, you know? Hi, Mila. All right. Sorry, folks. I got to get my tissue. Just say hello to one another. <laughs> Hi, Mila. Okay, so I see I can't even see half of what I wrote down. So wh where are we now? Are we on Kavanaugh yet? We are on Kavanaugh. So there is an investigation into how the FBI handled the Brett Kavanaugh fiasco. And this uh, leads to another investigation. So, of course, as a remote viewer, pe people want to know what happened with Brett Kavanaugh. How did the FBI get away with what they got away with? You know, yet again, the police not investigating a woman who's been assaulted. You know, things don't change, right? So uh, the FBI completes an internal investigation into the handling of the Kavanaugh investigation. Sheldon Whitehouse, it says, has filed a formal complaint about the FBI's handling of, the, of Justice Kavanaugh investigation. A private investigation, side investigation, reveals that Christopher Ray had filed private documents claiming that he was being threatened by the president, number 45. So then another investigation opens up where Christopher Ray had filed a private complaint within the feds that's not public information that he was receiving uh, threats, possibly even death threats. And so he filed some formal complaint and it was made known to the Department of Justice. He cannot discuss the uh, full extent of the investigation. Uh, uh, this is Christopher Ray, uh, but he may be part of the William Barr investigation of internal complaints about William Barr. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so now we go on to William Barr. Yeah, it's a mess. Okay, so what? So what's happening is is that Sheldon White, uh, Whitehouse filed a formal complaint with the Justice Department and the Feds regarding the handling of the uh, FBI in the case of Kavanaugh and the fact that it had been delayed. And when an internal investigation was done on that, a separate investigation discovered that 
a private investigation was going on where Christopher Ray had filed a formal complaint saying that he was receiving death threats and was being threatened that he had to do Trump's bidding. So he had to file a formal complaint. And that may have partially been why he felt that he didn't have total control in the Justice Department. So he did the same thing that Comey did. He filed a complaint. This is Christopher Ray. And now Christopher Ray is saying he cannot discuss it. And that came up. Now we go on to the next thing because there's an internal investigation into William Barr by the Justice Department. So when they began investigating William Barr and then they had another separate investigation about complaints made at the FBI that uh, Christopher Ray was seeing being death threats, getting death threats, and then they had to subpoena and... They had deposed William Barr. So now we find out from William Barr. William Barr is claiming in this remote that he didn't know what Donald Trump wanted certain information for. Okay, so now we've got another investigation. It's just, it's the gift that keeps giving. So William Barr is being deposed and he is being questioned by the Justice Department because of his handling of not just the Mueller report, but how he oversaw and weaponized the Justice Department, including supplying not only classified information to Donald Trump, but also opening up investigations against Donald Trump's enemies, which included the president of France. So if people are digging up dirt on the president of France, or if they're digging up dirt, if the CIA is digging up dirt, the fact that that Trump had access to it or access to anything or any investigations at all had to do with the fact that he could weaponize the Justice Department because William Barr was there to do whatever he said. So when William Barr got deposed, he said, well, I don't know why he might have needed that information. I, you know, it's not my job to question the president. He's the president. I work for the president. The Justice Department is a branch of the executive So if he says, send us over everything we have on a particular politician, et cetera, then I'll see what I can do to make that happen. What's the problem with that? What's the problem with William Barr's argument? He's in a lot of trouble. Thank you, Catherine. That's very kind of you. Thanks for the donation. Is that a legal argument? I mean, I don't know. Are there any lawyers here? Okay, so that's shocking. So now today we find out not only that Lindsey Graham is leaving, he'll be asked to leave, but we found a bunch of investigations exploding. We find that the FBI, we find that Sheldon Whitehouse was doing an inve- had an investigation get started, which revealed that William Barr was under criminal investigation, which revealed that Christopher Ray, the person that they want to investigate, that he himself is asking for help because of a private thing he wrote. What a freaking mess, right? Crazy, 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 crazy. Did I get everything? I want to make sure I got everybody, all all of my remotes. I think I have, oh no, I have a bunch of them. Okay, so how it's going to end most likely with Trump when you follow the energy. The The final outcome for Trump, it looks like this could be wrapping up sooner rather than later, which could be really a big disappointment for the American people. They want a big, excuse me, they want a big crescendo They want Trump to be drug out in chains. They want beat him, you know. But more than likely, we're looking at a plea deal that he will never again be able to hold public office. Um, He has to make some kind of public confession, some kind of public confession. It's no longer a signed, sealed confession. Some kind of public confession or admission has to be made. So it's some kind of a guilty 
Um, he's going to be heavily taxed and could wind up economically ruined. This is the guy that winds up living in a room in somebody's condo because they take pity on him. It's really a sad ending. Uh, uh, he's economically ruined uh, and he will be publicly shamed, left to be uh, seen as insane. He's kind of left in this room by himself, isolated. Uh, it's a kind of house arrest. That's the most likely end for Donald Trump. And they're saying, the, according to the remote, that a lot of this is going to wrap up. Here's the shocker in two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks, we're going to, they, they'll want to wrap up a lot of, it seems like it would go on forever, this investigation, that's stolen, and what was he up to? And I'm sure all of that's going to happen privately, but they want to wrap this whole thing up and get a quick, okay, I did it, I'm sorry, great, get a quick slap on the wrist uh, uh, and and send him off to wherever. Yeah, that's the fastest way to make this nightmare go away and then have the investigation become private. Meanwhile, it's never going to be private because you got, you know, people like me and David Johnson and Cash Peters. Uh, so, uh, but you know what I mean? Um, so then the other thing is that, um, did anyone want to talk about the most likely outcome for Trump? Is anybody disappointed? Is anybody uh, disappointed that this could, we, we're going to have a pretty good idea where this is headed in less than two and a half weeks, according to the remote. We'll see where it's headed. Yeah, water lily, probably not. Okay, and then they wanted to also say that there are federal officers all over the New York Tower because when they investigated a crime, they uncovered a multitude of other crimes, and that included contraband against his enemies, like what, how he had weaponized. The, I can't believe how much stuff we found out. How he had weaponized the Justice Department, which again is why they had subpoenaed which is why William Barr is in a lot of trouble. Um, so they're all over the Trump Tower. The temp, they, they, I mean, like there's a ton of evidence, uh, a, a lot of uh, contraband at the Trump Tower. They're going to get it all. And in fact, they've probably already raided. Uh, there, when I did a remote, there was more evidence at the Trump Tower than at the uh, place in uh, New Jersey, just to let you know. Um, oh, and then the last thing uh, before we do some blitzes is to just let you know about Florida, that uh, Florida is about to break open like, <laughs> excuse me, a, a can of worms, according to what I was able to get. Uh, federal officers uncovering crime out of New York State, which led them to more <laughs> crimes out of New York, uh, New York, New Jersey all along the eastern seaboard. It's almost like illegal activities, bootlegging, uh, you know, goes all the way to Cuba, man. The cigars, the booze, the rum, things haven't changed. So you've got the feds all over New York, crime scene, and then you have major raids happening in Florida over the next, this is looking like it's going to be happening soon in the next couple of weeks, including, <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> the oligarchs that were, uh, based out of uh, Florida that were giving people money, et cetera. That's all about to blow up. I think that's everything I have. Is that everything I have? Yeah. And they've uncovered uh, sex crimes, et cetera. Yeah. And then the last thing I had was on Bill Barr and, um, He's under investigation for weaponizing the uh, Justice Department. He helped him get dirt on people. This was then turned into blackmail sc schemes or attempts to degrade people, terrorize and humiliate them, force them into favors. And so he was intending on doing that kind of crap with Macron. So what happens when you attempt to blackmail somebody like Macron and Macron gets wind of it? What happens when you're picking up the phone and you're calling Macron and you're saying, well, I just got a file on my desk 
from my Justice Department. Boy, you're you're quite the swinger. You better you better uh, start making friends with me. What do you think Macron's going to do? He'll file a report with in, uh, Interpol, right? He'll file a report with the feds, right? He'll file a report. I'm being blackmailed. This is an international crime. This guy, right? So there's there's another crime. <laughs> so no, he's not going to see justice for all of his crimes. He's going to get stuck in somebody's two-bedroom condo, the old guy in his socks that uh, has had all of his money and power stripped from him. And there's pretty much not, there's not much else you can do. And who's probably going to be intentionally publicly humiliated and forced to confess because public shaming is the way you make him look weak and you ultimately dispel the myth of the ubermensch and that's probably what they're going to do i don't know how he did it i just followed the energy i just follow energy so when i follow the energy to macron oh you're threatening me all right well i'm a man of law so i'm gonna fight you don't need to know about my uh sex life with my wife this has nothing to do with international policy right so at that point this guy's attempting you start filing reports, right? Somebody tried to do that to um, Dave. What's his name? The comedian Dave. He used to have his own show. Not Dave Chappelle, the other Dave. Um, David Letterman. You better give me money or I'm going to tell everybody that you're having an affair with one of your interns. He said, okay, I'm going to the feds. And then he went on his show and he says, yeah, I did it. <laughs> Like nobody cared if he was dating his intern. Yeah. So he and his wife went to a few swinging parties and he wants his wife to be happy. And he said, go for it. My wife is beautiful. Go for it. He's French. Happy 14th anniversary. <laughs> That's not, uh, yeah, it's not going to fly. Right, give her, or you go have a couple massage somewhere. All right, so we are ready whenever I get the order. So that's the question, too, Sheila is who helped him? How can you get those types of classified documents from point A to point B? How does it even leave the skiff? How did it even wind up in that situation? Sure, we can do a blitz on it. I just need to get the order. We'll do the empath's prayer, and then we'll go straight into the, bl the blitzes. Oh, it looks like Joyce gave me <coughs> the order today. Let me get a glass of water. Can you believe everything happening? My gosh, that was my night last night. Did you see those notes? That was my... See, I could have a love life. I just want you to know I could have a love life. But instead... This is what I do at night. You know why? Ever since I was a kid, I loved a good mystery. Oh, Debbie is keeping me on track. She's like, Whimsy, you need to keep track. We know you have another patient after. Yes, I have to do this. And then I have a, I still, I'm still working after this. All right, let's do the empath's prayer. I can't say a no, a no to a mystery. That's why I'm up all night trying to figure this stuff out. Okay, I want to call on white light protection for myself and this community as we ask permission from <coughs> spirit, excuse me, to access the Akashic records. We call on our spirit guides and good angels to be with us. Please give us the clarity and the wisdom that is needed to empower all of us on our journeys, to make the best decisions for ourselves, our families, the planet, the people we love but also to help those that we may have strife with. And together collectively we say, Amen. Okay, so let's just, um, 
That's right, Geocosmic Valentine. I sacrificed my love life for you folks. That's right. All right. Speaking of love life and romance and all that good stuff, um, I'm going to Portugal for two, for two weeks, Portugal and Morocco. I made my decision because the visas for uh, independent travel to Japan were not available. Before you get angry and jealous and hate me, uh, somebody said, you shouldn't brag that you're traveling because people can't do it. Here's the news. I bought the ticket round trip. You go through Google to find the cheapest. It was $850. Okay, eight fifty, eight hundred and fifty for the flight, and they've got uh, really great hostels if you are comfortable with that. And uh, Good Morning Hostel in Lisbon is um, fifty dollars a night, which seems like a lot, but it's fifty dollars a night, and they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So. Uh, it's home cooking too. And it, it's got, it's considered, it has the highest rating of like any hostel in Europe. So I have to go experience it. Um, so yeah, why not, why not go and experience? So I'll be there for a week and then a uh, fr- uh, flight to Marrakesh from Lisbon is $120. And with hotel for four days, three, four star was $350. So I'm going to go spend four days in Marrakesh for three fifty, dollars with everything, including, including breakfast. Yeah, see? I just live frugally. I, I save a little bit every day. And uh, yeah, that's how you do it. Isn't that cool? You guys can do it too. All right. Um, I'm trying to see where the questions are. All right. Looking for some nice big red question marks. Okay, I'm sure there's tons of questions. All right, so Gail St. John has a question. She, uh, Will they silence him? Not quite sure who you're asking about wanting to silence. I'm assuming, are you saying Donald Trump? Yeah, I guess we were talking about Trump. Let's go ahead and see... If um, if Trump is going to talk, if uh, how much are they going to show us? Because I feel like they are ready to wrap this up. If he confesses, he already has confessed. They want this wrapped up fast. So let's see what happens. The investigation's happening very, very, very fast, and his lawyers are telling him to plead guilty because he's caught. There's no, look, it's happening very quickly. The first card is chariot. Chariot denotes movement, fast, quick, quick, quick. The other in relationship to us would be Trump, and it's Ten of Cups. So that would denote cooperation with who? The Justice Department, the courts, the feds, etc. And then the Queen of Wands comes, ab- Justice Absolute, my way or the highway. Yeah, Queen of Swords is right over him. His career is over. It, there, he's not going to, people that keep talking about him running in 2024, they must be smoking something that I've never heard of because he, his future is not. Anything like that. You can see the sword of Lady Justice comes quick, quick, quick. The sword of justice, the Lady Justice. Him in relationship, the offer, his whole entire world implodes. Look at the mountains of evidence. Look at the mountains of evidence. The just It's so irrefutable. The treasure trove, right? The Empress is the treasure trove of evidence. He's uh, they. The reason that they came to the decision, plead guilty, lock him up, uh, clean him out, tax what, is because he's crazy. And why prolong it when we, he's already admitted it? And there's a ten of cups there, so they're already working out. So, look, he's completely off his rocker. Seven of cups. Seven of cups is to be completely out to lunch. 
it goes back to the remotes we talked about in the fa- in the past with Donald Trump. He believed he was the president. He believes he is the president. He believes he won the election because he's the president. He needs to take all of the stuff that the White House normally has in their war room, etc., their private documents. I have a right to all of that stuff because I'm the real president. And Mar-a-Lago is the real White House, the Southern White House, where the real president resides. And that's why I have to have all this stuff so that I can continue to operate my White House. What are you going to do with somebody like that? And I've even got my own special security. I've got the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers. And they're the ones that are going to be guarding my White House. They're out there with their machine guns right now in Florida. They think this is real. It's real. It's our real White House. What are you going to do? So, so they just stop it all, get it publicly confess, I did it. I know I'm not really the they humiliate him. He, he's not really a wizard. You mean, you mean he's not really magic? You mean the curse? We're free? Dorothy can go home? So it has that kind of aspect to it. Yeah. Oh, the tunnels under Mar-a-Lago. I mean, you know, it's interesting you mentioned that, Kel Bell, because when you do a remote, you would think that the boats would land there and they would drag them in through the tunnel. So what would you be bringing? Bootlegs, right? You'd be bringing booze and girls and uh, cigars and rum and girls, right? Slaves through the tunnel. So... Why would that change? Because that's probably the history of the tunnel of that area. Who pushed the Russian oligarch out of the window? Let's take a look, Joanna. Isn't this fun? Don't you just love this? It's so interesting. Wow. They, uh, well, uh, the killer is telling me, well, how, how, uh, he says he used a stun gun. Um, they came up behind the guy. They, uh, disabled him with a stun gun. And that's how they were able to throw him over. He he lost control with the stun gun. It looked like a, almost like something you'd hit a bull with. So when they came in and he tried to fight and then he, they hit him with the stun bump gun. And then when he dropped, they quickly grabbed him and threw him over. And that's how they do it. They don't use a, they don't use a gun. Um, and it can be used in animals. It's sometimes used in prisons. They're telling me, uh, it's used with animals. Sometimes we use it sometimes with our prisoners, though you're not supposed to. And that's what we used. It's like a cattle prog or a cattle electrical. And it's, they're very easy to acquire, I guess, in, um, Russia. That's how they killed him. Because he was talking to people who were known to be um, uh, operatives. God, can you imagine? Does anybody know the, does, is anybody from a farm know what they're talking about? What this thing is? This shocker? 
that it has a front thing like this and you hold it like this and you can just <laughs> shock and give a little shock. Does anybody know what they are? That's what they used. Isn't a cattle prod, is that what it is? Isn't a cattle prod smaller, bigger than that? Oh, it is called a cattle prod. Oh, they're used in stockyards. Dang, you got, see, I, I see it. Uh, it incapacitated him. Uh, he was attempting to communicate with somebody of questionable means. This is a spy or feds, right? Putin took him out. It's called, it is called a cattle prod. Are they that small? It seems so small. So is that, hey, anybody here from Eastern Europe, is that what your criminals walk around with, cattle prods? Boy, criminals are creative, aren't they? God, we just learned how they murder people. Well, that was unpleasant. Yeah, so that's what that's what they did. Can you imagine? It is called a prod. Okay. Hey, Gail, how big are they? Do you, any of them come about this size? And they're round and they have a little switch. And then the it almost looks like a woman's vibrator. And you just like that. It is called. Okay. Thank you. You guys taught me. Oh, water lily. Because they don't have a, as many guns available as in the States. But wouldn't you? Oh, oh, maybe they couldn't have gotten through past the security with something like that. But how would you get a cattle prod through? I wonder. Oh, they urged the cow forward. See, I don't, I mean, yeah, you guys are teaching me crap. I don't know. No, he collapsed to the ground against a wall and then they quickly picked him up while he was incapacitated and threw him over. They come in different sizes. Wow, you guys taught me so much. Dang. It, yeah, it's like a taser, like a police taser. Well, only don't taser things have to come out like that? How are they able to just go like that? That sounds more like a cattle prod. According to the remote, they're uh, sometimes used in uh, uh, prisons, jails. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it's much. I don't, I don't want to go there anymore. It's just unpleasant. But anyway, that's what they did. All right, let's see about another question. Well, at least you know how they did it now. Can you imagine? I hope I'm not giving criminals ideas. Uh, oh, this is an interesting question about Bill Barr. Did Barr sell his services in exchange for national secret documents? Oh, so what uh, Tariana is asking is how far did this go with Barr? So if Barr could be willing to weaponize with Trump, just was he doing favors work for other people? Was he on the take? What what was in it for Barr? I think it's a very good question. Let's take a look. Yeah, Michael, he tripped. He tripped in law because this thing came out of nowhere and pushed him and knocked him down. And then when he was not able, when he was, you know, it takes a couple minutes, like after something like that. And when you're, you're not able to fight. And that's, it only takes about five, tex, 10 seconds to pick somebody up and throw them after that. And that's what they did. No, he did not sell anything for money. There's no indication here of cash. He believed in his mind. This guy's in like a religion. He's like a religious zealot or something. Uh, this, this, it's all, it's a cult. I'm telling you, these people are so convinced that there were, this is some crazy stuff. This, you know, this guy's records, what he's saying in his records, this is Bill Barr. He's saying crazy stuff like, well, when the final judgment happens, 
well, where are you going to be when the final? Ju-? I was like, I, I, I'm like a Jewish Buddhist. I don't know anything about a final judgment. Like, uh, what are you talking about? Um, so we're talking here about how he handled the, the, <laughs> how he handled the uh, justice department. So queen of, uh, uh, rods is my way or the highway. So it's my way. Boom, boom. The consequences of that are 10 of swords that he was stabbed in the back multiple times and betrayed by the people that he thought he could trust. The others that he's having issue with, so that would be like Donald Trump and his compadres, uh, betrayal. You know, there's a betrayal there. Betrayal to who? A betrayal to the man, right? Bet- betrayal to the emperor. Well, the emperor, I'm assuming, is Merrick Garland because the emperor is reason, rational, the law, the supreme judge, the executive branch of the brain. The hope and the fear for Bill Barr is that he has put himself in a situation where there will be far greater consequences for Bill Barr than for Donald Trump. Donald Trump is just an old crazy man that's going to be stuck maybe in some uh, condo in Trump Tower talking about how I used to be the president. You know, like that's his end probably. But Bill Barr... There's this feeling that he knew better and there are really serious consequences for him. His hope and his fear is that he will be completely ruined. So you get into the nitty gritty of the remote and you have to say, well, if that's how you feel, then why did you do this? Like, why why did you do this? Because of God and Judgment Day and the rapture, you know, (laughs) the Pope, the ethos, dogmatic thinking, the dead will rise again on Judgment Day, right? It says in the book of Revelation, so when I went into the, when I go into the remote, I'm seeing like biblical imagery, the Pope, the judgment day will come. And this is like, what? This, like, those are strange images. I'm trying to find out why you weaponize the Justice Department. And instead, the Pope, the Cardinal sins, where will you be when the resurrection? It's like, huh? So these folks are really out to lunch. I mean, basically, we had a crazy president and a crazy person in the Justice Department. But what's scary is is that you say you realize you're insane. No, because everybody else is just as crazy. I mean, if you look at our current Supreme Court, half of them agree, more than half agree with him. Yes, the judge. I mean, it's like Amy Coney, they're all part of the same cult. It's like, what the heck? It's like we've landed on some freaking cray-cray planet. That's what it looks like. (laughs) Um, Okay, so Geocosmic Valentine has a question. She wants to know, since we'll never really get Trump at the very least, Bill Barr is really the one who allowed the absolute most of all of this to happen. Yeah, I totally agree. That's exactly what it looked like, that he would be held more accountable than Trump because of the amount of power he had, how he wielded it, and because he knew better. And he, he chose to uh, give up his personal responsibility and just go along with it. So uh, Gail St. John has a really good uh, question. Hi, Gail. Thanks for uh, being a member, by the way. Uh, she wants to know if Epstein's little black book and the names are going to come out. Oh, somebody on the book. Somebody. Something was a name was about to come out on that. Oh, I had a name, but I'll wait for two. I'll wait a little bit till I can remember, but. Yeah, there are some names that are going to come out. Let's 
Sorry, Melissa. <laughs> All right. All right. So we'll do one more. We're asking about Epstein's book. I'm going to take off because it's already 511. Um, if you haven't had a chance to like, subscribe, it would be great. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Dershowitz, Dershowitz, I really hope. Oh, he's such a psychopath. His wife, first wife committed suicide. God only knows what he did to her. That guy is dangerous. All right. Epstein. I keep getting parties, like parties in Nantucket like uh that lindsey graham attended parties that lindsey graham was caught doing something whether it was with a minor or with somebody he shouldn't have been with it's also uh i think kevin spacey was uh one of the people in the list so it's almost like uh, uh kevin spacey and lindsey graham and uh, they all kind of have this secret life that gets out i'm not saying that Lindsey Graham was on the list. They kind of hung around with different crowds, but uh, it's almost like uh, something weird happens with that. Um, but the feds, feds already have the list. They've had the list. Six of Pentacles, Evidence, Karma. <clears throat> they chose to suppress. It's already been chosen to be suppressed. Here's the G man. Um, people uh, got paid off. I don't think so with Bill Gates. I don't get that that was Bill Gates' relationship with him. Um, but I could be wrong. I just have never, but I've never, I don't think it was Tom Hanks. I think it was uh, Kevin Spacey and. Um, Somebody else, I can't remember. Some actor or something. It, it came out. It's just there's a list of people that flew on the Lolita Express. I don't think I think people pretty much know who's who, but um, it, it ends the way Robert Mueller said it would end. Oh, thanks, Sig Sire. I try to be a comedian, but uh, it ends the way Mueller said it would end. It. Uh, 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 um, it ends at the Capitol steps with, I, I thought that could never happen when we got, remember when we got that hit two and a half, three years ago? I mean, who's going to believe that they would arrest our Congress people? Like it just seemed completely, uh, impossible, but that's what's happened is that they are being charged and yeah, it's crazy. All right. Love and light to you all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for the donations, the memberships, the subscriptions and everything else. If you need to contact me for reading, uh, the information is below this video. You can go to tarotwithwhimsy.com. If you just need a five-minute pre-taped video uh, reading, uh, those are with Wizio, and that information is also below. If you need to speak to me as a doctor, if you need to get a medical consult, that information is below. Or you can go to drwhimsy.com. Thanks, everybody, for hanging with me. And uh, it was great. Thank you, uh, Debbie, for your help as well. All right, I'll see you all next time, everybody. Take care.